Welcome to a quick tutorial on how we can end up sort of making like a road network if you're sort of doing like mud maps for clients or uh, if you need to sort of show some sort of map work, pretty much anything where you've got lines where you wanted to have like an outline around your main line, like if I sort of zoom in a little bit. So what I've got here is I've got like a major road with a dotted line sort of running through the middle of it, a roundabout, a few other roads sort of leading off. These don't have to be straight, they can be curved, they can be whatever you like. And uh, so what I thought I'd do is actually show how to build this uh, in a very, very simple fashion, rather than, like there's different ways of doing this, there's always more than one way to skin a cat really. And so in this case, uh, we're just going to go through, a, I guess, a process where you can control it fairly easily, uh, where you can actually sort of do different things to uh, to build you know, maps basically, um, particularly maps, I guess is the, really the only sort of real application I can sort of think of where you'd be wanting to have these, um, you know, all the line work actually outlined like this. So let's start at the start. Now these are the only things I actually need. I just need my layers, my stroke, swatches or color and appearance basically to sort of uh, just work our way through. So what I've done is I've got uh, like this example, I'm just going to uh, turn that one off. Uh, this is the same, this is a starting point for this. They're just lines, so if I actually go and, um, and grab these lines as an example, uh, I've just grouped them together, but if I sort of double click, they're literally just lines, so that's all they are, just lines with a thickness. So each each stroke, this is, these are 14 point stroke. Uh, so what I've done is I've just sort of drawn the map sort of the way that I want it to look. So if I just grab these, I've got some uh, sort of thinner lines, which are eight point. I think the roundabout is also eight point. And then these are six point, just these sort of smaller roads as an example. So uh, there's two ways of doing this. So I'm, I'm going to show the one with the group. So let's just um, go back out of the group at the moment select the group and um, just go back to layers control C or copy right click you can copy I think actually no you can't right click and copy <laughs> I thought you could uh, anyway it's going to be edit copy I just use the uh, control C and um, just going to go up into layer if I do control F that's going to be essentially um, uh, paste in front which basically puts it on front of where it was before I'm just going to move that up into the layer mode I'm just going to turn off that spare I just didn't want to redraw it basically so with this let's just change the actual color of the all of the line work globally to white and so I can just do that by selecting the line down through here having the object selected where I've actually got the color work or I could have drawn them in white anyway actually because we do want the white to be the inside fill so we're just setting up the inside fill right now so uh, let's go to swatches click on white so we now have white lines so that's easy and these are all like if I actually go into the object and have a look at the appearance palette you'll just see it's literally just a, these are just individual paths given a stroke and no fill and that's pretty much what we've got set up in this particular file so everything is just a stroke and no fill very very simple I'll just double click to go back out of that isolated selection mode for the uh, for the group and so uh, what we're going to do here is actually which one have I got at the moment I'll just go back to layers so I'm going to show you first of all how to do it actually I might I might yeah I'll, look, I'll do it on the uh, on the layer and so we can sort of see the process of doing it if you're wanting to, to apply it to a, a whole layer meaning that if I do anything on the layer that outline will be applied to absolutely everything now there are a couple of little things I wanted to set up first the first one is I wanted to go in and do the uh, the middle line through the middle of these two roads through here now there's two ways of doing it basically if I really wanted to and not the best way would be to duplicate another line directly on top of it and uh, and then have the, the line work done differently or I can actually just grab these two lines and it, and change them in the uh, in the appearance palette and so you'll see here I've got the stroke and the fill all I need to do is just add another stroke now two ways I can do it I can literally just click on add new stroke down in here or I can write sorry I can just right click on this I think I thought I could do this way duplicate I thought I could just duplicate the uh, the um, with it selected there, duplicate item sort of is off to the side. But let's just do it this way. So we're going to click. This one is going to be black. So I just click on the black one. This one I'm just going to make it say two point. So I've got now a, a sort of like a thinner line running through the middle. And I'm just going to click on the word stroke and just make it a dashed line. Just going to make it six point. Job done. So it's all just one stroke now where it's got the, the one stroke has got a uh, 14 point white with a two point dashed line running through it. So it's just a single single item. If I, um, if I basically draw another one of those, I'm gonna end up with something looking very, very similar. So if I, 
for example, just grab one of these and just sort of uh, draw like a curved line that sort of runs on through, I'm going to get basically the same sort of road shape all the way through. Um, it's, it's, uh, so it's really a very clean way to just get a single line to do what you want it to do. Very, very powerful, the appearance the appearance palette. So I uh, strongly suggest if you don't use it to just get used to what it actually does do. To do the outline around everything is a little bit more complicated. So let's now just go back out of the group and uh, I'll show you once again I'll, what I'm just going to do with nothing selected I'll just so I can get back to a reduced appearance. This is my default now, default appearance, what we're seeing sort of down through here for anything new that's created. And I just wanted to sort of start that way. Let's go to layers to start with. This is the layer that we want to apply. I've got the other two layers turned off. And so I'm going to now select this. So click to target, drag to move appearance. And so this one here will then select the layer and create a layer appearance. So anything I do with this selected with appearance will actually apply to the whole layer including anything new that comes into the layer so i can re-edit the layer and do whatever i like but this will all be applied to it so let's click on appearance yet again and so now we're applying it to the actual layer in this instance what i want to be doing is to uh, there's a, a few different things i wanted to do i want to be applying a line to everything so let's just go where we would sort of naturally start thinking let's just add a new stroke and so I want this to be fairly thick, so I'm just going to go, say, four point. And you can see there it's actually gone into the middle over the top of everything. And it is basically applied over the top of, of the layer. So every line on the layer, no matter what I do, is going to have this four point black applied directly over the actual line work. If I had an outline, it would actually do it around the outline, but I don't. And I want this to be on the outside, as per our example. So in this case, that's not quite working the way that I would want it to work. Let's just turn it off for a second. We're going to come back to that one. One thing I do want to then do is I'm just going to click on the word layer up into here. I, you sort of then think, OK, well, it's a, I'd prefer to, if I was doing it mechanically, I'd be wanting to outline the strokes and then apply the line work. So that's sort of what we need. And you'll see outline stroke goes down the bottom here. I don't need it after everything. I actually need it at the top of everything. So let's just move that up to the very, very top and we'll just turn stroke back on. No change. It's not doing anything. Uh, let's move stroke down below and it's still not going to change. We're not just not going to see it below content because it should be... Oh, actually, no, let's just leave it there so at least we can see what's actually going. So something else has to tell outline stroke how to how to actually work. And I, can, I can't double click it. There's no actual options for outline stroke. So what we need to do is we need to go to the Pathfinder effects. And uh, in this case, you pretty much can pick almost anything and it will sort of work depending on what you've got. It does chop and change when you start to have anything other than line work. But let's just go to Intersect. And so I've got uh, Intersect is now underneath there. If I move that above Outline Stroke, suddenly we're getting the, um, the, the Pathfinder effect is now kicking in. The, um, the outline stroke is now also kicking in and it's um, and so you can sort of see that it's actually now being applied to all the different strokes in the uh, in the actual file and then and then what I wanted to do was with the actual stroke itself is down is move it down below the content so it actually pops so that the content sits on top so it's messy with the stroke out here like that's not what I want I'm sort of seeing everything where the stroke has been applied on top of absolutely everything in this case what I want to be doing is going down below um, actually where are we that's no selection sorry I've just got to go back to the layer click it and you'll see when there's been a, like a um, an appearance applied to a layer it will have that sort of ghosted effect running through it so I go back to appearance with that selected and uh, just go and grab the stroke and just drag it down below the contents so it's going to then appear underneath the contents and there we have the actual line work now if I wanted that to be a four pixel uh, like a four point line I need to double it because it's actually half of it is not being shown so it would need to be and actually I've done it again it sort of stays like this by default whatever you did last it sort of remembers it for, with no selection uh, in this case we have to go back to layer click on that go back to appearance change the actual size to say eight point to get the that particular outline and so that's all there is and anything new that I add to this particular layer now like it's um, like if I go back to the actual layer 
and let's just with nothing selected just go to reduce basic appearance just so you can sort of see like see it in in its absolute basic form let's just change the basic form to have white so we're just changing it from to an eight point white line now uh, similar to these lines through here and I can just draw now on my layer um, so if I just go to the layers make sure I've got the layer selected and just start drawing somewhere I'm going to end up with roads that um, where it will basically do exactly what I wanted it to do uh, I can finish them off so it's a really clean way to actually do maps so that's using the layer so every time I add anything to the layer whether you know it can be a uh, a filled box or something or a filled circle if I actually go and do this and actually then go to the fill on this object and just go and pick any old sort of color uh, I'm, it's gets rid of the line on the middle but the fill actually sort of still works so it's a it's a nice way to get different effects uh, very very quickly for maps for mud map type things like this so that's doing it using layers uh, we can do exactly the same thing using groups so let's just go now and uh, do exactly that so I'm just going to turn off that layer um, I'm just going to go back to my spare again I'm just going to go and grab this because this is really where it all sort of started and I'm going to go control C to copy it going up to group and control F which actually is not going to remember that so I just got to drag it up there turn that off so we've now got an actual group now if you're ever sort of wondering what have I got selected uh, once again the appearance palette will tell you this is a group and so I can apply the same rather than going through the rigmarole of going up to layers which will actually then permanently change the layers on this ghosted setting uh, what I can do here is actually just apply the same process to this particular group so let's just very quickly go through what the process is without actually going through the steps that I did last time so I'll just do it in the order that will give us the actual result that we that we looked for now the first thing we did was just change it so that we were dealing with white so let's just make it all white I won't worry about putting the line actually maybe I will just so that you guys can sort of see that process again so to to isolate elements within a group you just double click the group and we now got the group is now what's been sort of isolated I can then grab and if I if I'm unsure about what I'm get, getting I'm getting path through here I'm now getting uh, like two paths that have got the same same sort of thing if I grab another one where I'm getting a different size I'm now getting path with mixed appearances but with still no fill in this case I want these two over here to change the appearance of this particular stroke we add another line we make it black we make it two point in this case or whatever you wanted wanted to do it we click on the word stroke we do dashed line six point works for me that's done so that one line has now got those two two strokes applied to it uh, let's just deselect just undo the group let's just uh, reduce the basic appearance just so we've got a clean palette over here just so you can sort of see the process using the appearance palette grab the group so we've now got group with contents in it that's pretty much what we're sort of seeing similar to what we had with layer um, and so we're just going to now go to FX we're going to go to Pathfinder intersect we then and it sort of puts it at the top of the uh, top of the tree we're then going to go to FX we're going to go to path and we're going to go outline stroke so we want it to be we want the outline stroke to be applied to basically to the content so we need to put that above the contents we're still seeing the actual lines in the middle there because it still is just lines um, and then what we need to do is we need to apply a stroke which we can see through here I think we went to eight point in the end um, or did we go less than that let's just go to say six or maybe four I think we did start up with four so let's just start with four here so we're seeing the stroke but it's above the contents we just drag it down below the contents let's just boost that up now to uh, to say eight so we're getting that thick outline and uh, so we're seeing the contents above the line itself um, job done it's really really simple and if I then go in and uh, let's just reduce the appearance now with because we're not seeing anything actually on the screen and uh, let's just change the color to white as my base as my default at the moment and um, let's just go and add another shape on the same layer and do what we did last time you'll see that when I put these on because it's not part of the group it's not being applied to it so if we actually just go there I'm just going to go and add the fill in as well I can do it through here or through here it's the same deal so I'm just going to go and um, actually what I might just do is I might just double click this one and just go and grab a, a green 
similar to what we had in, the, in that previous example. So this is not part of the group. Um, and so I can actually draw on the same layer other objects and not have the road style ap uh, approach put on them. If I want to have the road style approach, I just go Control X, uh, isolate the group, double click into it so I've actually got the group selected and then just Control F and it'll then put it back in and apply double click the it's out of isolation mode we've then got the outline around that object as well so two different ways of doing it uh, one using groups one using layers but still getting that same sort of uh, effect just using the uh, the appearance palette so um, it's a very very clean way to actually outline your strokes hope it's helpful it certainly is something that um, until I realized about the pathfinder command to actually make the the paths into um, into objects or into solids it um, it wasn't working for me so it's something that I haven't been able to find much information on to be honest on the actual steps to do it so I hope this does help other people who need to make mud maps um, using a sort of consistent styling but with different line thicknesses to actually achieve the result thanks for watching